This is seven tequilas in Cannes, Georgia, and you're watching Hot Rod Minus. <laughs> If you've ever been blinded by the chrome of a classic ride, felt the rumble of a big block motor, ever dreamed of building, owning, or driving a heart pounding street machine, you've got it. Hot Rod Madness. At Hot Rod Madness, we believe that every car has a story, whether it's a weekend cruiser or a trophy winning classic. Here to bring you those stories is the host of Hot Rod Madness, Tim the Milkman, along with the Hot Rod Madness crew. Figure out some place to go today. Where do you want to go this week, Dollar Bill? Well, we got to do something we hadn't done before. You know, we've been to so many places that's within 20 miles of home. We need to kind of get out there a bit. Yeah, I would say so. Well, uh, okay. Well, yeah, take a right. peek in the rag tops and see yeah, what we can find, man. Going on here. Uh, I'm searching here. Fifteenth. Uh, I'm sure we can find something. You don't want to go all the way to Lawrenceville, do you? No, 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 no. That's, uh, 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 I'm thinking more like uh, Alabama, uh, Priceville, Alabama. Yeah, something northern. Let's see, uh, uh, something. Uh, yeah. Is there anything out? How uh, about uh, Canton? You, you know, know what? I heard they got a, a cruise in in Canton. Yeah. Off uh, Riverstone Parkway. It's supposed to be pretty big. Well, you know, that was on our list to do last year, and we never did it. So, hey, why not? Sounds uh, like a plan, Stan. Yeah, all right. You got contact info on it. You got, uh, uh, what's the name of it? Po yeah. Boys Cruise Inn, right? Po Boys Cruise Inn. In Canton, Georgia. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Hey, that's what we'll do. Let's hit the highway, man. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Road trip. Road trip. <laughs> You're watching Hot Rod Madness. Let's join Tim the Milkman and Dollar Bill as they hit the hot Georgia asphalt at the Po' Boys Car Club's third Saturday cruise-in at Riverstone Plaza in the heart of beautiful downtown Canton, Georgia. Hey, Tom, how are you, sir? Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing great, man. I spotted this caddy from way over there. You know, I'm a fan of the color of white, so I had to come check it out, man. I appreciate that. You got it, Tom. What year is it, man? It's a 1961 Series 62 Cadillac convertible. Wow. Okay. That's, that's a mouthful yeah, all by It's a itself. mouthful with some of these cars, but uh, there is another There's another model. It's an upgrade to this. It's uh -huh. uh, goes into the uh, El Dorado Baritz, which is, has a lot more chrome, a little more fancier on the interior, and a lot more expensive. You, you Cadillac guys always surprise me. You're so classy. You, you, you see you guys coming down the road in these big behemoth vehicles, and you can't help but turn your head and look at them, man. Check it, that's just a beautiful ride, man. And that's the enjoyment of owning some yes, of these sir. cars. It says when you do drive down a road and the people just honk and stare and yeah, then buddy. stop you and take pictures. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was driving down I-20 and doing 90 miles an hour, <laughs> and a lady's taking pictures of the car. Yep. Know, you know, it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's oh, great. Yeah. Uh, they get them just as much enjoyment out of it as I do. I, could, I like to refer to them as chick magnets sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Let's don't get ran over by this hot rod pickup. That's a nice truck, huh? Yeah, that's pretty. Well, all right, sir. How about you pop the hood on this Cadillac and let's get a peek at the engine. Right. Now, is this an original power plant? This is all original, uh, numbers matching. It's not 100% uh, restored, or that's pretty much what it looked like today out of the factory. Uh, it's been painted over with some things. Okay. But basically, it's a 394 barrel, th uh, 325 horsepower. And all it, right. Uh, 12 miles at a gallon. It's. Uh, Back in the day, gas was 29, 39 cents a gallon. It didn't, didn't, yeah. didn't matter. <laughs> that guy's got a loud engine over there, and yes, he, gets, he probably gets two, two, two miles at a gallon. Yep. He, it sounds like he's got a horse of a motor under the hood. This doesn't sound that bad. It's just purrs like a kitten. You know, what surprises me on this Cadillac is where the battery is placed in this thing. Now, that's the original. <laughs> that's the original location. That's the original location. Yeah, that doesn't have all the safety features that right, these cars have what, today. Yeah, that if the grill ever gets hit pretty good, you know, well, your battery's it'll toast. Take, it'll <laughs> take a tank to, to demolish this car, probably. Yeah, you're right. Look at that big old bumper. Yeah. Wow, that's Cadillac. And they're even bigger than that in some of them. You see the big, what the yeah. 56, 55s have the ones they call the Dagmars, the big yep. bullets in the front. Right, right. I don't know if you remember Dagmar. But oh, yeah. She, okay. Yep. That's a, a, a big... 
that was a big thing for the bumpers back then to yeah. put those in there. It's just well, I don't a lot know. of these cars were designed from the World War II with the fins and the bullets, uh, mm -hmm. the, you know, that make them look like uh, warplanes, and that's how a lot of the designs originated. Uh, jet, in, jet, jet type engineering. Well, yeah, uh, and that was just prop jobs back in the 40s after mm -hmm. the war, and that's when the 40, I think it was a 40. 41 had a real small tail light fin and then it's grown from here. Yep. 63, 64, they tapered off where the fins almost went away in the later 70s. I love it, man. Yeah. Love, I love the whole styling effort it. they put into the Cadillacs. Now let's walk around and check out the interior, man. What now, we normally got on the interior was uh, a two tone interior, which was st uh, standard for Cadillac. Mm -hmm. This car I found out after I bought it was special order, which meant that this car was ordered this way by the customer, all white. Okay. Uh, typically, you had choices of red and white, blue and white, black, and so on and so forth. Yeah. Uh, yeah two tone, even on a paint job, sometimes if you had a hard top. Uh, the top is white. This is what you call a triple white car. Now, is that electric top on this all thing? Power oh, top. Yeah, yeah. Nice, oh huh? yeah, you don't want to lift that top up. It's yeah, heavy. Right. I could imagine the thing's got to be pretty huge. But everything in the, in the day was standard power seat power windows options where you notice this doesn't have a right hand side mirror yeah, it don't have that no mirror. was an option that was really? you know the uh, factory order uh, at some point even the heater was a it was not an option you had to order that wow. air conditioning was an option uh, this this has air and still to this day you ain't put no mirror on it no uh, that's how <laughs> okay. I drove a car like this from 67 to 72 with no side mirror. Yeah. No seat belts, by the way, either. <laughs> okay. No, no seat belts. No seat yeah. belts. <laughs> yep. That was an option, too, that back then, a, I guess. I don't, I don't think they had seat belts. They seat didn't belt. even have them, did they? They came out in 62, I believe, yeah, 63. It's, it's kind of hard to believe, you know, how yeah. far we've come already. Really? No seat belts. You, you know? did have four cigarette lighters and ashtrays. Wow, everybody smoked. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah. At, at your convenience, you can <laughs> smoke all day long in this car. No, uh, of course, I put the little cup holder there, but not even that. We didn't drink yeah. and drive back in the day, yeah. unless you had the bottle under the seat. So. Wow. Okay. No cup holder, plenty no. of cigarette lighters. Yeah, that's Man, I always I love the way they set the dash up and all, and the, yeah. all the chrome on the dash the chrome, and everything. Yeah, that's all gone today. It's all plastic and yeah. make-believe. Yeah. But uh, the chrome was, uh, you know, that's a big factor on these cars mm -hmm. back in the 60s. Uh, you know, you look around these some of these older cars, you see a lot of chrome with the headlight trims and the bumpers, and yeah. you know, that makes them that sets it off. It's a ship. <clears throat> excuse me. You you see you you see them coming. Yep. Very noticeable. Yeah. Well, all right, Tom. Thanks for showing your ride on Hot Rod Madness all today, right. man. Thank you. You have a wonderful time at the show, buddy. You too. All right, yep. sir. Thank you. Don and Carol, how are you? Good. All right. Nice to see you. Thank you for having Hot Rod Madness over to look at this cool little Mustang. I couldn't help but notice this thing's got custom little details all over it, man. And it's, it's not your average Mustang you see on the street, so I had to come over and ask about it. Now, I understand you primarily build the car and she owns it, right? It's her car, yeah. All right. yeah that's the she collects all the car, <laughs> yes. all the trophies and plaques. She gets all the trophies and the plaques on this one. All right, what year is it, lady? 2008. A 2008 Mustang. All right, is there another name attached to it? Is it a Shelby? Is it a GT? What it's is it? It's a GT. Okay. GT. I love the way y'all set it up, man. That thing looks awesome with the spoiler about that high off the ground. There might be an inch under that thing, man. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> uh, it could probably go even a little lower. The really? only thing, yeah. Uh, the only thing uh, we keep it off the ground because if I go down too low, yeah. uh, my side exhaust. Uh, yeah. I got Cervini side exhaust on it. If the side exhaust, if I go down too low, my side exhaust will lay on the ground. Yeah. And okay. and then it gets them out of line, so I don't yeah. drop it all the way to the ground. You don't want to scrub the tips off your exhaust. Yeah, exactly. That's for sure. Exactly. But I do notice they are concealed with a uh, body kit. Now, yes. did you put this body kit on yourself? Yeah. It's a Cervini's body kit. The yeah. uh, front fender and yeah. the side exhaust is a Cervini's kit. Um, 
The uh, front, the hood is a Cobra R hood. Mm -hmm. uh, the Savini's made the uh, the tannel cover in the back to cover up the uh, the rag top. Yeah, that's cool. Um, we've got a I've got a a blow by racing rear bumper on it. The Savini's kit comes with a split bumper, like a lip. Yeah. It just glues onto it. In my opinion, it looked like crap. So uh, I <laughs> I tracked down a company that uh, that made a solid one piece bumper to get rid of the uh, mm -hmm. exhaust ports from the stock bumper. Okay. And uh, blow by racing made that. We just got done putting that. On. Yeah. Um, all right. I tinted everything. All the lights, yeah. uh, everything are tinted uh, uh, gray, not black. I didn't want to go black because we do still drive the car. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the car's got about almost a hundred thousand miles on it already because it was our daily driver for uh, yeah. what? A few years. Three, so, four. Several years. Good. It was a daily right. driver. Uh, now it lives in the garage. Yeah, it lives in the garage, and on yeah. the weekends you get to play. It lives exactly. wherever there's a car show. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, why not? Look That's at that right. thing. That's that's tremendous, man. You put a body kit on them things, and it changes the whole concept yeah, it does. of the car. We, yeah. Well, I, I did it's it because uh, everybody. I mean, Mustangs are cool, yeah. but I think they're a good jumping off point. Yeah. Um, and, and they are kind of all look the same. I wanted one that didn't look anybody anything like anybody yeah. else. Yeah. I hear so you. I got to mix and match a little bit. Um, like I said, it's not a straight up Cervini's kit. I got a Cobra R hood. Um, all right. And uh, dare to be different, man. Got to be yes, a little sir. bit, a little bit different. Hey, man, I bet I, you there's some goodies under the hood too, man. Pop the hood. I want to see. There it. is. I bet there's a big old motor. How big's the motor? Um, you would have to ask the man. Okay. That's right. All right, you have fun driving it, don't you? I do. I have a really <laughs> good time driving it. Oh, yeah, when the guys see you come up in this thing. It there, does yeah, get some attention, I yeah, must say. You in the does. car, a head turner, right? <laughs> wow, look at this. All right, dude. What were you looking at here, man? It's a 4.6. Yeah. Um, we pretty much Ford racing it out. Uh, yeah. Got a Ford racing intake, the Ford racing throttle body. I put uh, mm -hmm. Ford racing cams in it. Um, long tube headers. Uh, okay. High flow, high flow cats. Kept the H pipe because I like the lower tone as opposed to the X pipe with a real raspy kind of sound. This is, keeps it the old hot rod sound. Mm -hmm. um, and that's pretty much it for power. I mean, I've got three seven three gears in the back. Um, I think our next step is going to be putting a uh, torque converter because it is an automatic. So yeah, we're going to yeah. get a. Uh, You're going to stall uh, it up a little. Yeah, exactly, yep, yep. exactly. Get a high, st high stall uh, converter yeah. for it. Okay. Um, I think that's about it, yeah. power wise. I mean, I'd love to put a pro charger on it one day, but oh, that yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that depends on how much money she Ooh. lets me spend. Mm -hmm. All well, right. it's my car, so yeah. I guess it depends how yeah. much money I spend okay. on my car, right? <laughs> that's the rumor. Well, what you do is you go online, you look up the price, and you say, "Hey, this is what it's going to cost." Mm -hmm. Go ahead I get and get a the good one, man. Go ahead. And get the big one, man. Right. So that's that's the next step, and yeah. we'll, we'll eventually, uh, probably within the next year or two, get it repainted. All right. Um, we're we're working on that part of it. How cool is that, man? Couple builds. Still has the the stock paint, so. Oh, we love it when the uh, husband and wife get involved in a hot rod. You know, <laughs> not many chicks are into it so hard, heavy. Oh, I you know? love that's, it. I love the that's car. That's good. All I right. Glad car. to hear it. That's cool. All right, let's look at the interior before I go. I got to check this out. All right. Now, where's a feller get one of them covers like that? Uh, Cervini's made that cover. Cervini's. Uh, Cervini's, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a three-piece cover. I've added the uh, Mustang emblem. It actually came off the uh, the front bumper of my stock yeah, uh, bumper. Okay. And I drilled a hole in the kit and, and mounted that in the back, kind of give it a, a little bit of a custom flare. Yeah. Uh, that's all my air switches right there. I'm on uh, airlift suspension. Yeah. Um, and all my switches are right there. I, got a, I went with a manual system and uh, mounted the gauges right here. In the okay. Oh yeah. All right. So when uh, when we're cruising together, she runs the air and I run the car. Oh yeah. Or vice versa. Yeah. Whoever's in that seat runs the air. Keep it this high, honey. We're at 70 miles an hour. Well, it's, a, it's, it's really <laughs> nice for speed bumps. Yeah. It's really nice for speed bumps. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now at 500 mile an hour, this comes in handy, right? Yeah. I mean, that thing you get more aerodynamic uh, wind going over. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Now did the car come with this? No, I put that on as well. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. This is basically your 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 drive off the lot standard GT that yep. Ford sells. It was you know their 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 mommy take them to school convertible. You yeah. know. Well, it makes it so outstanding is the body kit. Once right. once again, man, I'm loving the way the exhaust comes right out the side of that that fender flare and it can all that. It's a little that bit stuff. loud at times, but yeah. once yeah. you get used to it, it's all right. It's okay. You it's you don't mind. Yeah, you don't mind, do you? I don't. I yeah. don't mind the Sounds loud. Good. I do. Yeah. I like it. She likes it, man. You're good. I, I know. I know. Uh, there you go. <laughs> well, all right. Hey, appreciate y'all showing y'all's ride on Hot Rod Madness, dude. No problem. All right. Thank you. Y'all hit subscribe. Give us a view. You'll see this and share it with all your friends. We'll we do. Will. All right. Thank Excellent. You. Okay. See y'all later. All right. Okay. Thank you.
Hey, Richard, how are you, buddy? I'm good, and you? Oh, I'm just fine, man. I have yet to air the specs on an antique tractor, man, on our show. And, and I'm over there, I'm looking at these brightly colored tractors. I'm going, dude, I, I got to do this. I got to come over and look at one of these tractors. You're the John Deere man. Right. All right, and uh, do you have a whole club of these things, or was it, what is it? Well, we'll just get together, you know. Okay, yeah. You know, all right. And I work on them, so. I know you, you guys come to the Hot Rod Show, but you're in a class all by yourself. I'm digging the brightly colored tractors here. The You got the Yellow International. How do you how do you pronounce that? Alice, Alice and Chandler. Chandler. Okay. Not familiar with the tractors. Right. <laughs> Right. This is my first, so uh, educate us, John Deere man. What year is this one? 1957. That's a 50, 420. Yeah, a 57 420 John Deere. Two cylinder. Two cylinder. Okay, it only takes two cylinders. Right. Sounds like a hot rod. By golly, you can plow a whole field with that thing, can't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, not with this one, but you know. Okay. I have. You have, haven't yeah. you? Now, how long have you owned this thing? Uh, about 12 years. 12 years. Did it look like that when you got oh, it? Oh, no. Probably not, no, right? No, it was flat. Yeah. Faded out. Okay. Uh, I, I get the out. idea that you guys restore these things. Right. What a hobby. That That's different, you know, for me as a hot rod guy looking at this hobby. Yeah, it's fun. That's, you know, I yeah. enjoy it. That's My cool. shop's sitting full right now. Really? You got a bunch of these, huh? Yeah. Okay. You build John Deere's all the time. No. I've got... I own more international. This is the only John Deere I got. Oh, okay. You're an international guy. Yeah, yes. I got five John. I mean, internationals. Okay. Are they similar to that one? No. What year would that one be? That's uh, 30. 30 something? something? 30 something. Wow. Man, that dude's old. Yeah. Okay. So, hey, uh, I could imagine y'all rebuild the engine from. Uh, Just whatever people want. Okay. So you rebuild yeah. these for other folks? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've done the Alice Chandler. Okay. And I've worked on the International, and I've worked on the Ford. Yeah, yeah, okay. So. Well, evidently, dude, you do good work because these things look brand new, man. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's pretty awesome. All right. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. You ever uh, uh, pull sleds with them, uh, do wheelies or burnouts no, no, or anything? No, no, no. I didn't think so. I'm just teasing. I'm just kidding, man. Yeah. That's pretty cool to see a tractor in this pristine condition, man. That's awesome. Well, now, are you a local around here? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. I live up on off of Yellow Creek Road in Ballground. Okay. All right. And you restore tractors. Yeah. That's very cool, man. Well, I appreciate you showing your tractor on Hot Rod Madness today, buddy. I enjoyed it. All right, sir. Thank you. Want you want me to crank it? Oh, sure. Let's hear it run before we go. Sounds great. <laughs> well, he's reaching under the hood. I guess it don't take much to fire it up. Ain't like you got to open a door or anything. Yeah, All right, Richard, it sounds like it's barely running. I guess that's normal. Right. Okay. Sounds good right there. Well, yeah. Is it? <laughs> Man, that thing's loading up like it's got a big old cam in it. Right, but it don't. It don't. No. That's just how it is, right? That's stock tractor. It's hitting a lick, dude. Yeah. 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 All right, I'd imagine when you rev this thing up, it does have quite a bit of power, right? Yeah, it's got about 21 horsepower. Okay, but in low gear, you can probably pull yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that thing's barely running. Oh, that's cool. All right. There we go. Yeah, rev on it, Richard. All right, man. Wow. The thing, I don't know if that camera's doing it any justice, but that thing's, looks like a brand new tractor to me, man. Yeah, and everybody first got this, I washed it in day grazer and washed every bit of paint off of it. Really? Down to the metal. The paint just came right off? I came right off. Okay. <laughs> so. All right. So I guess if a feller wants a tractor in this pristine condition, they gotta come see Richard. That's right. All right, dude. <laughs> That's cool. Well, all right, Richard. Thanks Appreciate again, it. man. You got it. Have a good day at the show, buddy. You too. All right, sir. Hey, JW, how are you, sir? Good, you? You all right? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing better now that I saw one of these sitting out in the parking lot. Wow, look at this thing. What year is this Buick? 1954 Century. A 54 Century. Yeah. 
Wow, here you have it, folks. I don't think it gets no pristine, no better than this. Look at this. That thing's beautiful. What color would you call that? That's called emerald green. Emerald green. Now, yeah. is, is that a factory color That's for the That's a Buick? factory color. It's beautiful, man. Yeah, thank you. The, the white walls, the paint, the white top. The car just pops, man. Thank you. And you don't see these every day. Yeah, there was two guys standing here earlier and said, this must belong to a Mexican. And I said, do I look like Mexican? <laughs> Mexican. Okay. Right, so I guess it's popular over in Mexico, maybe? I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know either. Uh, well, I know it's a big hit with me. I'm digging the car because of the body lines, the styling. Yeah. It's it's an old Buick, man. Yeah. And the thing's in perfect shape, dude. That thing's awesome. Yeah. Now, you got the original type upholstery in it. I'm sure it's been redone before. Yeah, I redid it, yeah. However, it looks like some uh, a type of uh, business type coupe or whatever you want to call it. I think it's, that car was built for an executive because it... Mm -hmm. uh, it's got the uh, it's what it's what they call a desert visor inside. Yeah. That yeah. Let, lets down and everybody's got wearing sunglasses. So you got a visor that slides down in front of the windshield. It tints the windshield while you're driving. That's correct. That's pretty pretty cool. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that option on another vehicle. Yeah. And, and uh, that's General Motors give out gold uh, coins with a car when they built one for an executive. Okay. And this one's got the gold coin in the glove oh, box. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All right. Some rich dude owned this back in the day, man. Probably. And now you, the rich guy that owns it. Never probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> listen at him. All right, dude. Hey, listen. How big's the motor in this thing, man? That's a what? Say, Buicks and Cadillacs had odd numbers, mm -hmm. and that was called a 403. But okay. it, but it's also called a nailhead. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. I'm familiar with the nailhead name. I would like to see that nailhead. All right. I bet it's just as clean under the hood as it is out here. I'm looking at some shiny chrome. The the chrome on this thing is just about perfect now. That's original chrome. That's a chrome. Hey, JW says it's original chrome, man. Yep. All right. Look at this nailhead. The valve covers are flat topped kind of sort of they're not at an angle or anything they straight up and down man yeah, that's all that's right the way a nail head was that's the nail head yep okay what kind of carburetors on that thing man that's a rochester okay oh the rochesters now when you got a good one of those you, you got know, a good carburetor you can't wear them out yes sir they, they go forever it's the same way with them nail heads you can't wear them out nice. you can put two hundred thousand miles on there and run a sawmill for 30 more years how about that yeah wow speaking of that you know as a matter of fact, you know, when I was a kid, my grandfather had a sawmill, and he did power it with a Buick engine. I don't know what Buick engine, but it was a Buick engine. Well, we used to take uh, Buicks and put them motors in 40 Fords. Okay. That was back when we used to run moonshine. Moonshiners. <laughs> you wasn't no moonshiner, was you, yeah, J.W.? Yeah, yeah, but, well, I better not talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, some of these guys, you know, they, they get on YouTube. They don't know that all these countries are watching them, you know, different yeah. different viewers. Yeah. That's, it's okay. There ain't nobody going to say nothing. Yeah. I won't, I won't tell. Well, I'm too old now anyway. They, don't matter. They, they, don't, they don't want me anyway. <laughs> Dude, I'm looking at the nose emblem on this thing. That, that is just like perfect. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, man. That's the way they come, right? The old Buicks were classy, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. All the cars they make now, it looks just alike. You yeah. can't tell them apart. Yeah, you're right. You know, they all got the same body style to all of them. Is. Yeah, yeah. All right. Wow. Let's look at the interior before I go, man. I got to check this thing out. Which door do you want? Oh, well, I'll tell you what. Open the driver's side, maybe, for the camera, and... I'll get behind the door and take a peek in there. I want to see the dash is what I'm after because everybody knows that the old dashes were covered with chrome, lots of shiny parts and pieces. I'm a big fan of the dog leg doors. That's what I call them anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Those, uh, oh, yeah. You got vintage AC or is that original equipment? No, it's original, but uh, the compressor I changed. But you, that was an add-on, a dealer's add-on. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. The original steering wheel. You got the horn the horn button, the ring around the steering wheel. It's all pretty, man. That's just yeah. beautiful. All right. Did you do your own work here? 
Me and uh, my son, and uh -huh. my, one, me and two of my sons, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Father yeah. and son project. Yeah, we got about nine cars. Nine cars this yeah. guy's got. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I understand don't, that don't, one. Don't tell Internal Revenue, though. Okay, I won't. They'll, they'll I be saying, wanting money. I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> I, don't, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> that one's yours, too, over there, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a 53 Pontiac convertible. Wow, it's a 53 Pontiac. Convertible. Not a Chevelle, it's, not a Chevrolet, but a Pontiac. Yeah, I, I fix odd cars. Yeah. I like odd cars. Okay. Everybody in the world's got a 55, 56, 57, or right, 40 right. Fords, you know. All right, we got we got the right guy here. I got to take a peek at that right quick, sir. Yeah, there's, all, there's only three of them in existence in the United States. Oh, yeah? The convertible Pontiac like that? The 53 convertible, yeah. All right, Dollar Bill, we got to walk over here and look okay. at this one, too. Come here, JW. Yeah, yeah look at this. Okay, now from from a distance, I would have thought it was a Chevrolet. However, it is not. It's a Pontiac. All right, he's got he's got the new style wheels on it. How big is them wheels, man? Eighteen inch. Eighteens all the way around it, right? Yeah, it's all Pontiac. I took mm -hmm. I took all the running gears out of a Trans Am. Oh yeah. It's got a Trans Am LT1 in it. Okay. Front end, rear end, drive shaft, transmission, overdrive, oh, everything. Nice, yeah. man. Yeah. JW got it going on here. Wow. How hard is it? Pop the hood on this one, man. It ain't hard at all. Oh, let's check it out. I got look at this. You get Trans Am stuff underneath this old Pontiac. That's pretty cool. Well, JW, you got a you got a pretty good eye for hot rods and what should go in them. That's that's cool that you stuck with the. Uh, oh yeah, how sweet. That's, it won't fall. It won't fall. It's just so much chrome on it. It's it, so heavy. It's heavy because all the all the chrome on it. Yeah. Hey man, does your uh, it is that it lights up, up, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> Dollar Bill, check out this hood ornament when you get a chance, because this thing still lights up, he says. You see that coming at you in the night. You turn it on, but I don't know if yeah. it'll show up during the day or not. Yeah, I got you. It may not shine shine too bright in the daylight. Nah, it don't matter. I'm, I'm still digging the power plant in this thing. That's LT Trans Am motor. Yeah, LT1. LT1 Trans Am stuff. Yeah. All right, that's some kind of tune port injection type stuff on there, right? That's, that's a LT1 tune port. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, yeah, man, that dude will get it, man. Yeah, it does pretty good. I bet that car will run good. Yeah. You got, got the rear end and transmission, and right? Everything underneath it come out of the Trans Am. Yes, sir. That's such a clean build, man. You kept the firewall clean except the polished brake booster and master cylinder. Yeah. Dude, that's cool. Nice build, aluminum radiator. You can work on that, so there's plenty of room. You, you might These new ones, you can't even work on. <laughs> right, JW. You could crawl in there and lay down on that motor and yeah. go to town with a wrench if you needed to. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That looks good. I'm digging it. Wow. Look, look at the Indian embroidered into the seats. Yep. All right. The Pontiac Chief. Yep. Oh, yeah. Who did your, impo your upholstery there, Jane? Ralph up in Blairsville. Ralph in Blairsville did the upholstery in this vehicle. Sweet. Yes, sir. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Love the old fins on the back of this thing. The rear bumper. All that chrome on the rear end looks great, too, man. Yeah. Beautiful ride. Thank you. Yes, sir. These are, these are vehicles that we don't get to see all the time. I've got uh, a 54 Oldsmobile that's prettier than these. Really? A 54 Oldsmobile. Yeah, we put a 572 640 horse oh, in it. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah. Yep. They're called Rocket 88s. Nice, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's got the big Rocket 88. All right, I'm sure you got a lot of stuff back home that we we would love to see too later on. Yeah, well, Maybe we can catch up to you later on yeah. and check those out. Yeah, we, we love to see people's collections because uh, uh, people with I don't know the imagination to do this. You put yeah. upgraded rear ends and transmissions and just makes well, for a beautiful build, man. Well, that way you can drive them anywhere you want to. Yeah, yeah. so much more efficient, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at the dash. I'm eyeballing that big old center bullet in the dash of that thing, man. That's groovy. Yeah, that was a speaker and then the clock in front of that. Okay. Yeah. Well, all right, JW. I appreciate you showing your You're rides welcome. here on Hot Rod Madness, sir. <laughs> You're welcome. That's cool, man. You bet. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Hot Rod Madness. 
Check back in with us soon as the Hot Rod Madness crew checks out the Harley Davidson of Atlanta's 51 year anniversary party. From all the crew, thanks for watching Hot Rod Madness. I'd rather be watching Hot Rod Madness.